break and then we'll return. Chairman, thank you for holding this hearing. It's uh, very important. Mr. Muhlenberg, in the spring and summer of 2018, did the former general manager of the 737 program ever raise safety concerns with you about production pressure on Boeing's employees who were involved in the final assembly of the 737 MAX at Boeing's Renton, Washington facility? Yes or no? Congressman, uh, yes, I'm aware of some uh, concerns that were raised oh, yes. in that time period. Okay. I'd like to read from an email that was sent to the general manager of the 737 program in June 2018, four months before the Lion crash, and two months before the plane was delivered to Lion's Air. The email comes from a senior manager on the final assembly team for the 737 MAX, and he reads like this. I have some safety concerns that I need to share with you as the leader of the 737 program. He wrote, today we have 38 unfinished airplanes located outside the factory. The following concerns are based on my own observations and 30 years, 30 years of aviation safety experience. My first concern, he states, is that our workforce is exhausted. Employees are fatigued from having to work at a very high pace for an extended period of time. Fatigue employees make mistakes. My second concern is schedule pressure in creating a, is creation, is creating a culture where employees are either deliberately or unconsciously circumventing established processes. These processes breakdowns come in a variety of forms adversely impacting quality. Frankly, right now, all my internal warnings, bells, are going off. And for the first time in my life, I am sorry to say that I am hesitant about putting my family on a Boeing airplane. The employee was so concerned that he recommended shutting down the production. And he states, I don't make this recommendation lightly, he wrote. I know this would take a lot of planning, but the alternative of rushing to build is far riskier. Nothing we do is so important that it's worth hurting someone. Mr. Muhlenberg, I know this employee also wrote to you personally in December, in December 2018 after the Lion air crash, as he spoke with Boeing's assistant general counsel several times after that. My question is, what have you done to ensure the safety issues Boeing employees raise are properly addressed? I mean, you went through before a whole litany of what you do with employees. It seems that this one must have escaped somewhere. Yep. Congressman, uh, I'm uh, familiar with that last communication that you referenced where the, uh, uh, the employee sent, or, or I believe he was a previous employee, a retired employee. I'll, He's I'll retired, yes. He went on to retire after yep. 30 years. He, uh, I recall his, re his uh, email, and uh, we did have several follow-up sessions with him. Uh, I, I told him I appreciated the fact that he brought up those issues and concerns. Uh, we do know that uh, our team, who at that point was running a, a production line that was operating at uh, 52 uh, 737s a month, it was a, a high rate line uh, at that point, uh, as we had been ramping up production from 42 to 47. So what did you do about it? We, we took a number of actions on uh, uh, taking a look at each of the work uh, locations within the factory, each of the production stops. Uh, we implemented um, uh, some additional quality uh, checkpoints uh, in the process. We also uh, just took a look at his concerns because he he was not uh, actually in the factory at that point, but he, he raised some good concerns. So we went back and took a look at his concerns. And in some cases, we identified areas where we, we thought his his issues had already been addressed. And we, we provided that information back to him. But this is, uh, this is part of our continuous process in our factories. It's, it's very, very important that we set up a culture where, again, safety is first in the factories, 
and that comes with quality, as you well pointed out. And uh, safe work is also work that's done in position, and, and that's one of the big focus areas for us. What, what happens in, in high-rate factories like ours, if uh, in a production factory, if you have work that gets behind and it gets out of position, that's when injuries can happen. So our objective is to make sure work can happen in position. That's a safer work environment. And uh, that's an area where we've been very, very focused in our safety efforts, um, and, and we will continue to be. So we take those inputs seriously. We evaluated them, we responded, and we're continuing to take My action. My time is up, and I thank you. Uh, just one quick follow-up. Did you reduce the rate of production at that point in time, given his concerns from 52? Congressman, uh, we're, uh, we're currently running the 737 line. Uh, no, at, at that time, I mean, at that time, did you reduce it, Sir, given we, the concerns he expressed? Yeah. Sir, we did not change the production okay. rate. Again, right, I, I think it's very important that when you change production rate in a line like ours, mm -hmm. any change, up or down. Sure, I understand there's a whole supply chain. Stability, That's good. Stability is preferred. If, if, you, if you want your 15 minutes, we're going to have to break now. So we will, uh, we will recess the committee for 15 minutes.